Hey y'all, welcome to my kitchen. I was born and raised in the South, in a city, and now I live in the Midwest on a farm, and I love it. Other things I love are Jesus, my family, and everything food. I'm so glad you decided to join me today. Hey y'all, I hope you're having a wonderful week. It is gorgeous here. It is sunny and people in Nebraska call this fake spring. I was talking to Rick about this last night and he said, you know, they say March comes in like a lion and out like a lamb, but actually in Nebraska, it comes in like a lamb and then it turns to a lion and then it turns to a lamb and then it turns to a lion and then it turns to a lamb. <laughs> Y'all aren't surprised. Y'all know Nebraska weather. <laughs> I enjoy the change of seasons so much. And I especially love that it was snowy last week in Nebraska and this week it's sunny. <laughs> and for my farmer husband, that keeps him on his toes. Not that he needs to be on his toes. He is on his toes. He's doing such a good job of running this farm. I'm so proud of him. In fact, what we're gonna make today is one of Rick's favorites. It's easy and yummy and works throughout the year for lunch, dinner, and leftovers. Today we're gonna make broccoli beef. Let me show you what you'll need. Broccoli, steak, bacon bits, rice, garlic, teriyaki sauce, beef broth, and butter. Hey y'all, I'm so excited about making broccoli beef for y'all today, and Rick is gonna love it too. And me too! <laughs> and we like our broccoli to be a little bit soft, and if you like kind of a steamed feel of broccoli, then don't cook your broccoli yet. But because we like our broccoli soft, I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing our broccoli and butter first. Y'all, that stick of butter was soft because I set it out last night because I was going to make some cookies and then I forgot. <laughs> so this morning I was like, oh, the butter, but it's fine. Real butter can sit out. Then I'm going to add all my broccoli and y'all see this great pan. Lillian was going through her totes in the storage room and she found this pan and she said, mom, do you want this pan? I was like, yes. <laughs> it's Pioneer Woman whom I love and also from Lillian. Win-win. The broccoli is cooking and now I'm going to make my rice. I'm just going to make six cups of minute rice because it's easy and yummy. You can hear that broccoli cooking and it smells so good. <laughs> okay, now I'm just going to brown my steak, put a little olive oil in the pan. Then I just got about a pound of steak and I cut it up into little pieces and you can use any kind of steak you want. I love steak. If you'd like, you can even use ground beef. Up to you. All right, so I'm putting it in. Ooh. The sizzle. I remember in communications class in college, they said, sell the sizzle, not the steak. <laughs> I've never forgotten that. So brown your steak to your liking. It's smelling so good in here, y'all. Oh, I love that sound. I just like to kind of brown the edges because Rick and I like it medium as opposed to well. I love the caramelization of a pan fried steak. It's good on the grill too, but <laughs> that's Rick's department. That steak looks perfect. I'm setting this aside on a little plate for my sweet friend, Ann. Hi, Ann. <laughs> now I've left some of the tannins of the steak in that pan with the olive oil, and I'm gonna add bacon bits next. Here we go. That looks good. Y'all know I love to add this kind of bacon to things. It's so easy. I also love to cook bacon from raw. I love it all. Then you add to that about a teaspoon of garlic. Perfect. Then you're gonna add easy cheesy, good old teriyaki sauce. <laughs> and Allison, it's gluten-free. You're just gonna add about a half a cup. Ooh, <laughs> can y'all imagine how good this smells? It smells so good. Just give it a stir. Then you're gonna add a cup of beef broth and stir that around. Okay, y'all, I'm gonna add a tablespoon of flour to give it a little bit of body. Now it's time to add the steak back in. Y'all, this smells so good. Oh my goodness. Ah. Now we're gonna add the broccoli. Just toss it. Here it is, and we'll just serve it over rice. Y'all, thanks so much for cooking with me today and making some broccoli beef. It's gonna be so yummy. Hope you try this at home. Have a great week. Don't forget to thank Jesus and enjoy. See you next time.